Today we're going to be talking about the Nikon Coolpix L110, the 15x optical zoom 28mm wide angle $280 budget camera. I had mixed feelings about the Coolpix L110, and here's why. First off, we're not given a designated manual mode. We have two auto modes and three different scene selection modes. So we couldn't even adjust the shutter speed or the aperture. All we got was ISO, white balance, and an exposure meter. Secondly, the design of the camera was very basic. There was not anything externally that really grabbed us. We did have a designated video record button and a nice knurled grip here. But aside from that, a pop-up flash and a three inch LCD in the back. And the same applied for shooting features. There was nothing out of the ordinary aside from Multishot 16, which was awesome. We had a lot of fun with that. But we just had the basic gamut. Macro, flash, self timer, couple color options that we could obviously do in Photoshop with these. But the most important aspect, image quality, just wasn't there. Especially in video mode where we saw heightened noise, lack of detail, and a flat color palette. Now this was tough to see for us after going from the Nikon Coolpix P100, which offered 1080p video that looked excellent, to this. Even still image quality was lacking. This camera could not do low light to save its life unless we use the pop-up flash, but then everything looks like you used a flash. It's just difficult for us because we like the P100 so much, but the Coolpix L110 just really, really didn't deliver either bust out that piggy bank and go for the Nikon Coolpix P100 or check out the new Canon compacts like the SD1400, SD3500 and SX210IS series cameras. We even like shooting with the 10x optical zoom Nikon Coolpix S8000 better. So we recommend shopping around and not settling on the Nikon Coolpix L110 just yet unless you have to have a Nikon and you're a brand loyalist. Just know that there's a whole world out there in this price range for compact super zooms. Stay tuned to infosyncworld.com for more reviews. I'm Mike Perlman. See you guys later.